Hello and welcome everyone to Oil Asset of the Day for the 26th of November, presented by myself, Phil Carr, at the Golden Silver Club. So as we go into a new week here for oil, what do you need to know? We have seen in the latest week, hedge funds and money managers, they have trimmed their net long positions in crude oil in the latest week. And as we suggested last week, we are looking for these sell opportunities back towards resistance. So what I'm looking at this week is resistance for WTI crude oil to be between 58 to 59 US dollars per barrel. And I'm looking for a rotation back towards 57 to 56 over the course of this week. Now we do have a few major news items that you want to have again on the radar. US and China, there's still further uncertainties regarding the specifics of the trade deal there. And with that, we are seeing that have a little bit of negative impact at the beginning of the week on oil. We're starting to see it roll over. And there's also concerns about the global economy, which of course, from a demand point of view, are putting more pressure on oil to the downside again. What we're also looking at for the course of this week is, and going into December, is the OPEC meeting, which is scheduled for the 5th of December. And overall, there's expectation that they're going to continue to cut output right the way through to mid-2020. But how much of this is priced into the market already is the big question. Usually from a cycle point of view, oil does tend to down tick between now and going into the beginning of December as well. And of course, we had a fairly sizable move last week to the upside. And now we're starting to see oil roll over and not follow through. That said, we may get a little bit more upside over the course this week, back to around 58 to $59 per barrel. In fact, WTI crude oil is at 58 US dollars right now after having yesterday broken down to $57.50 per barrel. But ultimately, at some point this week, I am looking for a revisit back down to approximately 57 to 56 dollars per barrel it's a very tradable range on oil again over the course of this week so you can really capitalize on either way of the market either selling from resistance or buying from support works really well but the key is really being nimble with oil if you look at the price action over the last two or three weeks you can benefit really well by day trading oil at the moment not looking to hold on for too longer term positions on oil just taking advantage of that day trade price action at the moment oil can move of course 100 200 points in a day very easily and you really want to capitalize on that major news items to look out for this week of course are tuesday the api data which is scheduled at 9 30 london time there is an anticipation that we will have a drawdown on the inventories data but we also have of course the weekly inventories data as well coming out on wednesday at 3 30 p.m london time as well which you want to pay a lot of attention to and then later on in the week at six o'clock gmt you want to watch out of course for the baker hughes oil rig count as well so really the major plan with oil this week is to see whether we are going to find resistance between 58 to 59 dollars per barrel on wti crude oil and simply roll over back towards approximately that 56 zone over the course of this week in line with hedge funds and money managers trimming their net long positions and a typical seasonal play which does suggest more downside but of course as always keep an eye on the us and china trade narratives any Positive optimism, which comes out that very quickly sees oil get a bid. At the same time, any additional uncertainties often see an opportunity to sell into oil. So with that, that's been oil asset of the day. And of course, we wish you good trading.